गुड इवनिंग आई एम एस के शनाय आई एम डायरेक्टर ऑफ नेवल फिजिकल एंड ओशनोग्राफिक लैबोरेटरी डी आर डी ओ लैबोरेटरी विच इज़ लोकेटेड एट कोचिन टूडे इज़ ए प्राउड डे फॉर अस टू ऑफ अवर सोना रिलेटेड सिस्टम्स हैव बीन हैंडेड ओवर बाय द ऑनरेबल रक्षा मंत्री श्री अरुण जेटली जी टू चीफ ऑफ नेवल स्टाफ एन पी ओ एल एस बीन वर्किंग इन द एरिया ऑफ सोनार्स फॉर द लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स एंड वी हैव ए नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स टू आवर क्रेडिट विच हैज़ बीन हैंडेड ओवर टू द नेवी टूडे द प्रीमियर प्रोडक्ट विच यू हैंडेड ओवर इज ए सबमरीन सोनार सिस्टम ए सबमरीन वेन इट डाइव्स अंडर वाटर Uh, it is dependent on sonars for its uh, navigation and as well as uh, uh, for its uh, communication as well as for picking up targets which are there in the vicinity so a submarine is equipped with various kinds of sonar there are uh, five different sonars which are there on the submarine and uh, this is called a sonar suite so we have developed this sonar suite for the indian naval submarines and uh, there are sensors which are located cylindrical array of sensors at the nose of the uh, submarine and also obstacle avoidance sonars and active sonars and as well as intercept sonars these various sonars are uh, uh, um, interconnected throughout and the data from the sonars are presented in the operator console here so this is a very crucial system for the submarines and this has been totally designed indigenously and manufactured by bharat electronics defense psu and uh, it is uh, the second generation version of the ushas sonar which we have developed and that is going to be fitted in the russian built ekm submarines and uh, uh, this is a great achievement for the country because this technology is not easily available from other countries it has been totally indigenously developed so this is the console operator console where the operators of the sonar system will be able to see what happens in the vicinity whether there are any other targets or other uh, vessels nearby so all the data is presented in a very intelligible form here and uh, moving on so uh, beside uh, i want to understand from you uh, how many types of sonars are there and uh, uh, since sonars are already available yeah. uh, how unique we are uh, when we are saying we have developed uh, indigenously yeah basically sonars are of two classes one is called an active sonar uh, first of all let me tell you under water it is only sound energy which can propagate light or electromagnetic waves will get attenuated very fast so if you want to detect something or look ahead only sound is the medium through which you can do that so uh, under water sonars are the only technology used for this there are two types of sonars two classes of sonars one is called an active sonar where we make a transmission of sound energy and the echo comes back as a reflection and then we analyze and we are able to find out from what distance it has come and what direction it is coming but in certain cases like a submarine we cannot make an active transmission but moment we make a transmission we are disclosing our position to the enemy so we use what are called passive sonars passive sonars are just listening devices huge arrays of hydrophones hydrophones are like microphones they are uh, they are the microphones which work under water so we pick up the sound made by the uh, for a submarine or a fishing boat and based on the sound we can analyze and classify whether it is coming from a ship if it is a ship is it a merchant ship or a warship that also we can analyze and uh, the uh, active sonars are also there on the submarine these are used only at the last moment when we want to engage the enemy to destroy it we have to find out its exact location for that an active sonar is used there are other sonars also called intercept sonars which pick up the transmissions of other uh, sonars and uh, help uh, us in detecting enemies at large distances the last class of uh, sonars which are called uh, obstacle avoidance sonar are helps helps the submarine move ahead and look at any obstacles which are there in its path Right. So the second system which we have today here is uh, called the directing gear. This is basically a, a auxiliary for uh, sonar systems used in uh, surface ships. So surface ships there is a, a component called uh, sonar dome in which the sonar array is located and this is usually of a cylindrical shape as shown here and there will be a large number of transducers or the transmit as well as receive uh, uh, transducers which are there and they need to be periodically checked for their health whether there is any failure in any of these components or uh, whether there is any deterioration in performance for this the array is usually rotated 
and there is an, another element which is used to check the health of the, uh, the, the transducers. So this is basically an equipment which we call directing gear which is used for this purpose. Till uh, very recently this used to be imported uh, but uh, we have now developed this initially it was developed for an export uh, uh, export requirement and uh, three of these were exported to Myanmar along with our sonar which has been exported and subsequently Indian Navy found that this will be meeting their requirements also. So now Indian Navy has also decided to uh, procure this item. Uh, 30 numbers they are going to order. The production agency for this is uh, Hindustan Machine Tools which is located in Cochin and they have worked with NPOL in developing and productionizing this system and uh, this is also a, a big achievement which we have uh, notched up in the recent years. Many congratulations and thank you sir. Thank you very much.